come on. We are looking at this problem, which is the learning objective three, problem number two, which combines uh, both decision making and loops. So what we want to make is this interface first, and then read this input from the user, set counter to one, and then start the loop. While loop, okay, we'll start with while loop. The while loop has three things: initialization counter will start at 1 because you will you want to print from 1 and then all the way up till 18 what the use whatever the user has written all the way up to the value of whatever the user has written so the the while loop will run how many times this many times if the user writes 20 it will run 20 times so this will be the decision if uh, the decision while counter is less than equal to this number and then you will do whatever you want these all printing and in the end you will do counter plus plus which is the update now this printing in between happening in the list box should have a construct of if else if else because if it's a midterm exam you have to write a midterm exam else if it's the final week you will write here final uh, exam else you will write the week name normally the week number week one two three four five so we start doing uh, this now enter number of weeks is one label I need uh, I'm just gonna okay one second so I've created my interface um, I'm gonna go to the submit now I need to do what declare variables set counter to zero and then create sorry create while loop and then the while loop should be working so in the declare variables I will start by declaring how many variables I need I need a variable to to store this value I need another va variable to store the counter so two variables at least so int counter and then int total weeks so total weeks is what I'm taking as input from the user here okay so now I initialize my counter to is equal to one let's initialize it by one because we want to print one in the beginning not zero so this is also a choice you need to make whether you want to initialize by zero or one if you want to print one in the beginning which is the value of the counter you have to initialize by one now the while loop so the while loop has three things this is the initialization then comes the decision the decision should be how many times the while loop runs so if the user enters over here 20 how many times the while loop should run 20 times right so should I write here what if counter is because most of you have done this is less than equal to 20 is this correct what's wrong here 18 we should write 18 the number of weeks who knows the number of weeks we don't know the number of weeks it's this the user will will input right total weeks so the total weeks will come over here total weeks so we need to also t take the user input from uh, from the form where the user has entered so make sure you also take the user input over here uh, read value of total weeks total weeks is equal to int dot parse and we convert it to the integer because obviously it is coming in as string uh, week txt dot text please make sure you keep on taking these suggestions from the code to avoid making spelling mistakes I'm gonna write this again in front of you and show you how the this helps me the visual studio int dot it comes up with this suggestion yes parse bracket open close semicolon now what variable where should I read it from 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 the text box so I remember roughly what it was it was week and now it gives me the suggestion automatically are you talking about this week txt yes this one dot text notice t is capital but who remembers so this is what I'm saying I remember it now because I have been programming you don't to so take suggestions 
How do you take suggestions? Control space. Give you suggestion. If it does not come automatically. Anyway, so I've read the text uh, and converted it into weeks. Total weeks. So the counter less than equal to total weeks. Bracket open and close. The while should have a bracket. Inside this, I will be making decision. Check if it's middle of semester because the total semester is total weeks so if it's if counter equals to that's how you do comparison you don't use single this is for assignment a is equal to b a will get the value of b but if you want to check they are equal a double equals to b that's how you do the comparison go back to your comparison slides and you can see if counter is equal to total weeks divided by 2 then do what then do what display something special right that this is the midterm week so list box weeks list box dot items dot add this is how you add to the list box what do I need to add normally we are writing this week week number how do you know the week number week this is the string plus plus so this is the string week and I close the string and I write plus I need to write the week number what should I write here what's the week number one every time it should display one what should it display here What's the current week? What's the current week? Yeah, no, the user will tell you the total number of weeks. Counter. So week, counter. This, right now in the loop, the value of counter is 1. So it will be displaying 1. Next time, 2. Next time, 3. Next time, 4. This is why we are using the counter. Week, counter. And then it says, show week 9 midterm exam. Yes, what should I write here? Only like this, midterm exam? Yes, then midterm exam. What's wrong here? You should have double quotes. This is a string, it should come into double quotes. That's all. Anything else? There is, a, there is space here already. There should be plus because that's how you add strings together. String concatenation. Add strings with numbers with plus. Week, one, and then whatever. But right now if it's the middle of the week, it will show you week. If the user has entered total number of weeks, 18. Week, nine, midterm exam. So this will be done if it's the middle of the semester. Else what? There is another cho decision here, so we'll do this else if because we want to check if it's the final week. If it's the final week, then display final exam. So I'll write it for else if. How do I check if it's the final week? Somebody else tells me apart from Gaia. How do I check this is the final week? What's the condition? What will be the condition? How can I check this is the final week? See, the middle of the week I checked like this counter is equal to. Total weeks divided by 2. Say again please. Counter equals to week. If counter double equals to total weeks basically. Total weeks. Total weeks we know are whatever the user has entered. Let's say 20. So we say if the counter is equal to 20, meaning 20 is equal to 20, then weeks list box dot items dot add. week plus counter plus exactly final exam now I sh I know why I'm hoping the last else everybody should know what we will do here I'm hoping else 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 what should I do 
Yes. Yeah. So that I'm asking, what should I type here? Weeks list box. Yes. Dot items. Dot add. Week plus whatever the current counter is, not total. The current counter. It is one or two or three or four. It will display because this is not the middle of the semester. This is also not check if it's the end of semester for normal weeks week maybe if it's the last week let me type this if it's the last week for normal weeks you just type this week number yes now in the end when your week is when your all conditions are finished we have to write update remember the uh, the loop has three things initialization this was initialization counter is equal to 1 this was the condition the last thing is update counter plus plus that's the last week so let's run this and check start I'm going to write here 18 submit week 1 week 2 week 3 week 9 it says midterm exam and week 18 it says final exam okay let me just increase the size of the list box a little so I can see things completely here also I need to sh clear you see week 18 submit now I need clear clear should delete everything here and delete everything here also so let's do the event handler for the clear button double click the clear and write week txt dot text you should know this by now is equal to what nothing so this will clear it what am I what, what do I need to do with this clear button I write for example here 20 submit and I need to clear clear means to reset the form so nothing here now also the list should be empty so to do that we have done the week text dot text is equal to empty string now the week lists box dot items dot clear this clears it this clears it let's run this and try uh, 22 submit I get the midterm at 11 and then I clear so the items are clear here and this clear here okay I hope you guys made some sense out of this thank you